Hello, and welcome to another film about adding and removing substances from equilibrium systems. This one concerns itself with graphs rather than the actual principles involved, although we will mention Le Chatelier's principle and so on. So it'd be good if you've seen the rate time graphs and the concentration time graphs film before you watch this one, because we're going to be referring to a lot of those here. OK, so let's start off by looking at what happens when we add reactants to a system. We're going to look at a system where A turns into B in the forward reaction, OK, and where B in the backward reaction turns back into A. Now remember, according to Le Chatelier's principle, if I add reactants, the system's going to try and remove them. How does this system try and remove them? it turns them into products. So in other words, the forward reaction is going to have to be favoured when I make this change. Okay, But at, until we get to the point where the change has been made, the two reactions have got the same rate because they're at equilibrium. Then suddenly I chuck in a load of A, so the number of particles per unit volume of A increases, so the chances of them colliding increases, so the rate of that forward reaction increases. At that precise moment, the rate of the backward reaction doesn't change because we don't need any A in the backward reaction. But the re forward reaction is going faster now, so the products will start to increase in concentration. It will start to form more products, so this rate will gradually increase until it reaches a level that matches the rate of the forward reaction, which is gradually falling because A is getting used up. That's what Le Chatelier's principle is saying, is saying this system's trying to do. It's trying to use up the extra A that we added. Okay, And now we're back, back at equilibrium here because the two rates are the same. Okay, Let's look at a concentration time graph. I'm just going to draw two arbitrary levels here for the two concentrations. Okay, Now I've just suddenly chucked in a load of A. So the concentration of A is going to increase. Okay. Um, by some arbitrary amount. We haven't said how much. Okay, Le Chatelier's principle says that the concentration of A will be reduced by the system. All right, So this is going to fall. Now in general, they're never going to fall back past their original level. They might fall back to their original level. It depends on the equilibrium constant, but they're never going to fall past it. Okay, So we're going to show it going up and then being reduced by Le Chatelier's principle because the forward reaction is being favoured. OK, the concentration of B didn't change at that moment, but it's going to start increasing. How much is it going to increase by? This is a key question here. And because we've got a one to one mole ratio here, the concentration of B is going to increase by as much as the concentration of A falls. OK, so A fell by about six squares. So I'm going to show B rising by about six squares. And when they level off, this system is at equilibrium again. Okay, So the concentrations are now constant. They don't have to be the same. The rates did. But the concentrations don't have to be the same. Um, but they have to be flat when the system reaches equilibrium again. OK, moving on to adding products. And just with a slightly different reaction here, where A maybe turns into, in the forward reaction, 2B, just so that we get some different concentration time graphs. Okay, And then the backward reaction shows 2B turning back into A. Now, if I add some products to this system, OK, so here's my backward reaction, here's my forward one again, going along at the same rate because we are at equilibrium, then I suddenly chuck in a load of B. B isn't involved in the forward process, OK? So it's not going to change the rate of the forward reaction, but the backward reaction is going to suddenly speed up because I've got a higher concentration of B particles, so there's a greater chance of them colliding with one another. OK. Remember, Le Chatelier's principle is saying that we're going to try and use up B okay, to remove the products that I've added. And so the way the system does this is by favouring this backward reaction. OK, as B gets used up, this reaction is going to gradually slow down. And as we form more and more A, the forward reaction is going to gradually speed up. And they're going to reach the same height okay, because they've returned to equilibrium and they're going to carry on at the same level until we make some other kind of change. All right, let's put the uh, concentrations of the reactants and the products over here on this graph. OK, I've suddenly added a lot of B, so its concentration is going to increase. Remember, the concentration of A won't change at that precise moment. OK, the concentration of B will then gradually fall. 
but not beyond its original level. I'm just going to put some arbitrary amount there. Okay, that's actually two, four, six, eight, nine squares. That's fallen. Now, there's only one mole of A for every two moles of B. So as the concentration of A rises, right, because the reaction is producing A to use up the B, it's only going to rise by about four and a half squares before it levels off. Okay, so here's a bit more of a quantitative thing here, but also showing qualitatively that, first of all, the concentration of, react of the B increases and then gradually drops, according to Le Chatelier's principle, and A increases as B is used up. Okay, moving on. We're going to remove some reactants now. This might start getting a little bit repetitive, um, but that's okay, because you might start some patterns, noticing some patterns forming. I'm going to go back to a one-to-one -one reaction here, so A turning into B in the forward reaction, B turning back into A in the backward reaction. I'm going to remove some reactants, okay? I'm going to remove A. That is going to cause the forward reaction to suddenly slow down, okay? But A is not involved in the backward reaction, so it's not going to affect the rate of the backward reaction. So only the forward reaction will be affected by this change. Okay. Notice that now the forward, the backward reaction is going faster than the backward one, even though the forward reaction, the backward reaction hasn't changed in rate. Okay. So the backward reaction is being favoured, and according to Le Chatelier, we're going to have to start putting reactants back in because we've removed some. So that will happen here. And as those reactants get put back in, the rate of that forward reaction is gradually going to increase. And the rate of the backward reaction is gradually going to fall as we use up B to produce A. Okay, And then we're back at equilibrium when the two rates are the same. Concentrations here. Well, let's have B in blue again as usual and A in green. Okay, We've suddenly removed some A, so the concentration is going to drop. It's going to then rise maybe to its original level, but certainly not beyond its original level, by about four squares there. One to one reaction here, so B is going to fall by about four squares, according to Le Chatelier's principle, because we're trying to produce more A, because we've removed it from the system, so B has to get used up. And then the concentrations level off, they flatten off when the system reaches equilibrium again. Okay, last one. Removing products, okay? So again, let's have a 2 to 1 reaction here, okay? A turning into 2B and 2B turning back into A in the backward reaction. Backward reaction in blue, forward reaction in green. Same rate because they are at equilibrium. Suddenly removed some products, so the backward reaction will decrease in rate. Why? Well, because if I remove products, Le Chatelier's principle says I've got to put some back in, so the forward reaction's got to be favoured. But the rate of the forward reaction doesn't change at that moment because B is not involved in the forward reaction, okay? It's just a product. So the forward reaction is going faster now. It's been favoured, right? So it's going faster than that one, but it's not increased. And then as we use up A to form these products, we are going to cause the rate of that forward reaction to gradually fall, the rate of the backward reaction to gradually rise, and then when they equal each other, they're at equilibrium again. Let's just have a quick look at the reactants and the products concentrations. Okay, I've suddenly removed some products. Um, there we are. This is going to cause the system to replace products according to Le Chatelier's principle. So this is going to rise, but not beyond its original level. We've got about five or six squares here. Remember, there's two Bs to every one A, so A's got to fall by about three squares as we reach equilibrium. And then the concentrations become constant when the system reaches equilibrium again. Okay, so that's it for addition and removal of substances. Um, we're looking at lots of other graphs and lots of other um, factors in other films. So um, good luck with those films and remember to ask questions if you get stuck with these things.